Here's the example of the problem that we had last week. Okay? It was easy to find the asymptote, the vertical asymptote, set that denominator equal to zero, or what would create a zero butt. That's how we're still looking at it. That will work for all of these. All of these. But now we have different examples because here we didn't have any letters or variables on top. And now for our next more graphing rational functions, we're going to throw some letters on top also. Okay? Now in this case, we have x to the zero power. Do you agree with that? Yep. Okay. Now, we're going to talk about the degree of the top. Degree. What's the degree of this? Zero. zero. What's the degree of the bottom? Two. Two. If the degree of the top is less than the degree of the bottom. Here we're going to have the, this signifies degree of the top. D small ot. I don't know why I came up with that. I just made it up. And the degree of the bottom are equal. And here, the degree of the top is bigger than the degree of the bottom. All right. Now, those are the three situations that you're going to come up with. Let's start. We're going to do the vertical asymptotes first for all of these. And then we're going to come back and take you through the horizontal. The horizontal is always the toughest. Vertical asymptote is pretty easy to find. Take a look at the bottom here. What can you tell me about the vertical asymptote? It's imaginary. Therefore, there is no, there is no vertical asymptote. Because why? Exactly. If I take this over into my little head, and remember we can't have zero but, zero denominator. I'd solve that, square root both sides, I get x is equal to positive negative i. So, in this case, there is no vertical asymptote. No. No, we're, we're just, just with the vertical asymptote, take your butt and set it equal to zero. That's the simplest way, just like here. Okay? So, here, hey, here's a question for you. What's the domain then here? Y8. There's no exception. There's nothing that it can't touch. So, our domain in this case is... All real numbers, yeah. Good. Outstanding. Let's come over here. Ooh. What's your vertical asymptote? Plus three. Correct. You're going to have two vertical asymptotes. Remember, how many solutions are there here? You said it equal to zero. So x would equal three, and x would equal... Negative three. Yeah. Will we ever have any x to the first? Uh, I'm sure you could, but, not. but I haven't created any that would challenge you that much. What about here? What's your vertical asymptote? K Mac, what is it? Um, will it be negative two? Close. Set, it e set your butt equal to zero. Oh. Yeah, it'd just be positive, too. So you could say your domain here, all real numbers, but what? All real. But three or negative three. And all real numbers, but... My writing gets better as time goes on. Okay, so when we start comparing the degrees of the top, degrees to the bottom, now we're talking about your horizontal asymptotes.
So it's all going to be y equals, y equals, y equals. Okay? Now, nothing's added on. Nothing's added on, or we can say whatever's added on. That's going to be your horizontal asymptote. What's the horizontal asymptote here? Zero. Zero. Absolutely. What's your range? Close. You'd have to graph. You'd have to actually graph this one to see oh, it. Plus zero. This is going to be. Bigger than zero. And the only way you can really tell this is to graph it. Will it always be like that? For no. You have to physically see. It will be. It will be an asymptote of zero. But, depending on the degree, and if it looks like this, then you're going to have your quadrants. When you get the squared, now we're talking about it's going to be just above or below. And you, you'll be able to see it. X, Y, um, we can take any numbers. I'll go 5, uh, negative 1, 0, 1, 5 there. So 6 over 26. That's not fun, is it? 3 over 13. 3 over 13. Uh, 6. Uh, 6 over 2, which is 3. Is that right? No, this isn't right here. 6 over 2, which is 3. 5 would be same thing. So what this will look like is it will come here, it's going to go all the way up to 6, and then it's going to come back down and never cross 0. You can type it in the calculator see the same thing. You know you got an asymptote here at 0. So your y values are all above 0 in this case. Normally, a common response would be all real numbers but zero. I get you. I hear you. But we got some exceptions. That's why it's a prediction. It's a prediction, so we like to see. If your degree of your top is equal to the degree of the bottom, degree of the top is 2, degree of the bottom is 2. When this happens, take the lead coefficients. What's the lead coefficient on the top? Two. Two. What's the lead coefficient on the bottom? There's your horizontal asymptote. <laughs> now let's use some of the things we've done in the past. What's this going to look like? I'm going to have a horizontal asymptote at negative three and a positive 3, and supposedly at 2. What the heck is going on here? Will our calculator do that? Yep. Anybody got a calculator? I would punch it in expeditiously if I were you. Make sure you put parentheses around the bottom. Excuse me, kind of. It's going to be all real numbers, but three or negative three. Is that the range? Why is it two over one? Two over one? That's a rule. Take the lead coefficient. Lead coefficient at the top over the lead coefficient at the bottom. Two over one. Oh my lord. Look at that bad boy. Hey, anybody, you got it typed in? Right here. Perfect. I didn't do it. Oh, I, yeah, I just did it. Oh, did you do it? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> you just put parentheses around the bottom. 
If you didn't, then yours won't look like this. If you have a, if you have a, an expression, yes. Does it look like this? And this? Hey, Chris. Lovely. <laughs> Follow at the Hernay on <laughs> So again, this stuff helps you predict what it's going to look like. Predict. Hey, question. If, if the degree of the top, if the degree of the top is bigger than the degree of the bottom. There is no horizontal asymptote. So you have three options. The degree is smaller, then it will be y equals whatever's added on here. If they're equal, then you take the lead coefficients. If the top degree is bigger than the bottom degree, then there isn't one. Now, do you want to memorize it? I don't, I, don't, I don't know. But it's nice to be able to predict. And if you can remember, I don't worry about the first one because this I can see degree top is smaller than degree bottom. The one that I always think about is this one. If they're equal, take the lead coefficients. That's the only one I memorize. And there are exceptions to everything, too. That's what sucks. So, none if the degree on top is bigger than the degree on the bottom. There is no. That's pretty blurry. I need both.